Tony Roma. It's a okay. restaurant. Where's it located? It's close by. It's actually on Dixon. It's uh, Carlson Street. I have no idea. Just turn on that one. Oh. Right now we're selling ribs. <laughs> we have the baby back ribs. And they're just oh my God. five dollars. <laughs> five tickets and they look this good. Five tickets and not so long. Yeah. Ooh, I'm but it's cheaper to pay cash because when you buy the tickets it's like ten dollars twelve dollars for ten tickets, so you may as well just pay cash. So it's really good. And we're also giving away the ten dollar gift cards for twenty robots. So when you go buy to the restaurant you can get one of these and get ten dollars off. One thing, um, is this, is that the only Tony Romas in Peel or? It's the only Tony Romas in the GTA right now. Yeah, well, uh, I'm telling you, down the street. Nice <laughs> <laughs> come back. Hi there. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Where did you find the movie from? So, Bite Bar actually is produced right here in Vaughan. And um, the inspiration for it came from just making for friends and family where people are didn't want to eat tons of dessert anymore. So with Bite Bar, you get something this small, and it's the perfect dessert bite. And you can try a bunch of flavors without feeling the guilt. Okay, so you have a store, like somewhere? Uh, no, right now we're home-based, so out of Vaughan. You can check us out at bitebar.ca, and we deliver throughout the GTA. Um, we also offer pickup. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you guys. What you got going on here? Well, Hank Daddy's Barbecue is a proudly Canadian company. We're serving up um, Southern style barbecue right here at this wine and cheese show here in Toronto. We're doing pulled pork sandwiches, pulled pork parfaits, which is the Hank Daddy's original. And we're doing smoked chicken wings. We're also doing our fire wing challenge here, which is people are brave enough to try 15 <laughs> of the hottest, craziest wings they'll ever try. We haven't had any challengers yet, Can but apparently, apparently there's one coming. Uh, one of your challenges? <laughs> <laughs> what time did the challenge start? <laughs> well, a challenge is anytime somebody walks up and signs all the paperwork. You got to sign a release form. You got to sign a waiver form. You got to read all the rules and regulations, and then we'll let you we'll let you take the challenge. You pay twenty five dollars. If you finish the wings and finish the challenge, I give you your money back. Wow. You make a shirt too? Yeah, you get one of these commemorative shirts. <laughs> That's a Hank Dad's. I survived the Hank Daddy's barbecue challenge. I don't even wear one of those things. Really? Because I haven't eaten the 15 wings in 15 minutes. <laughs> you ever watch that show, Man vs. Food? Yeah, that's the inspiration you for that. Him down. <laughs> that's the inspiration for that. I've been watching that show for a while. And boy, oh boy, I see some of the stuff he eats. I'd love for him to come down and try my stuff. Yeah, we serve up some real nice barbecue. We smoke all of our wood for 12 hours. Oh, sorry, all of our uh, pork for 12 hours. Are you brine the meat too? I'm sorry. Brine the meat too? No, we don't brine. We don't brine our meat. No, we we will rub it, and uh, and then we and smoke it, it and we smoke it for 12 hours. Yeah, okay. using charcoal and peach wood. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It gives a nice, real distinct flavor and a uh, real nice color too. It's got a nice dark color. Nice char. Nice absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's $25, right? That's the wing challenge, is 25 bucks. But it's crazy hot, man. <laughs> well, we're from Trinidad. It might, it might, you know. <laughs> well, our little girl over there is from Guyana. She said she wanted to try it, but I gave her just our regular hot sauce, yeah, and she said, "No, I don't think so." Trees, yo. They can't <laughs> trees, yo. So, what are you selling here? Yeah, we are selling some mixed drinks here, some um, margaritas, strawberry daiquiris, and our uh, pina coladas here, which are our signature green colada to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with Island Oasis. Okay, so what is it? Is it like what's inside? Uh, inside our uh, right pina colada. We'll make one up for you right now. Okay, let's uh, check it out. Got some ice. We got some ice. We got some lots of we rum. Carefully measure out some rum. What kind of rub do you use, sir? Bacardi? Bacardi? Bacardi. Uh, carefully, carefully. Put it all, put it all. There's only a little bit left. Just put it all. Oh, I need room for the mix. I need room for the mix. It's all scientifically, uh, yeah. you know. It's all scientifically done for the Measured, chef. Measured, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, give it a good shake. Before you give it a good shake. <laughs> what do you use it there? Is that a horse? Oh. Add your Goodness. mix. Um, you can buy this product in any grocery store, um, Metro, uh, superstores, uh, in the water aisles. Put there, put there Yellow on. and blue food color. For our nice cream. And here's where the magic is. My name is 
Mike, I'm with Blackfly Beverage Company. Uh, we're here at the Toronto Star Wine and Cheese Show uh, introducing some new products this year for Spring 2012. Uh, our products are less sweet, more natural uh, mixed drinks. Uh, we're found in the RTD category at the LCBO and uh, various other provinces in Canada. Uh, people enjoy our products because they're gluten-free, we use cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup, and uh, we use real juices. So uh, demographically, uh, we kind of span uh, people drinking in their 20s all the way up into their 60s. Uh, we're an independent company out of London, Ontario, uh, owned by a husband and wife team. And uh, we're just out here uh, doing what we can, uh, kind of guerrilla marketing styles, word of mouth, uh, trying to spread the, the news on these products. And uh, that's about it. Special. Basically, this is uh, from Switzerland. It's the French-speaking part of Switzerland. Okay, boss. Okay. And, uh, it's called Tête de Moine. So Moine is a monk, and Tête is a head. So it's the monk's head. It's the literal translation of the cheese. And you notice it's shaped like a little brick? Monks, this is 800 year old tradition. The monks used to use this as a bartering system. Really? They would make the cheese and then they would go into town and trade. So from you, they get some wool and give you some cheese. Exactly. And from this gentleman, they get some wood, spices, or whatever. spices, whatever, and they would use cheese as their, as their bartering tool. It's made from 100% uh, raw milk. And just a little thing about Switzerland, the cows are all naturally fed. It's either grass or dry hay, so no go, pesticides. They get to go roll. It's right? free range. I mean, Switzerland was green before green was cool. Okay. And it really impacts on the flavor. That's what I really like when everybody's like cooped up in a little yeah. thing. And that's illegal in Switzerland. No, it's not allowed. that's what I mean, though, right? So they're that's free range. Yeah. And the cheese is aged for four months. And then basically what the, what Eric is doing now, he's impaling it into a girol. Girol in French means to turn and scrape. And with the blade, he spins it and he creates little flowers called rosettes. Sweet. You can eat it as is. You can add some pepper. You can add some jelly, depending on your palate. Some people like roasted pepper. Some people like chocolate. Of course. Okay, it's whatever your taste profile. It's all about rot. <laughs> Too. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. And he makes a great presentation. Yes, of course. That's, That's good. It's a chocolate piece, right? So, uh, Great Lakes Brewery, we've been around for 25 years. We're in uh, south of Tubaco, just off the Gardner, right? uh, Royal York in Queensway. And uh, we got four different beers at the, the International Wine and uh, Cheese Show this, uh, this year. We have the Devil's Pale Ale 666. We brewed that back in 2006 as a seasonal product, as an experimental, and it was so popular that we kept brewing it. It's a big, malty uh, uh, pale ale with a lot of West Coast hops. And we have our crazy Canuck. Paleo. It's a back-to-back -back gold medal winner at the Canadian Brewing Awards, uh, 2010 and 2011 in the Paleo category. A lot of West Coast hops, light body, uh, lower carbonation, very easy to drink and you get a lot of grapefruit, uh, and some, uh, some citrus off that. Uh, very good beer in the uh, hotter months. The Red Leaf uh, Lager has been around for years. It's just a, a, a straight up uh, red amber lager. Very easy to drink, very smooth and crisp. And then we have our uh, summer seasonal, our orange peel ale. We do this uh, once a year. Uh, it's a beer brewed with orange peel. Um, it's very, uh, very crisp, very fresh. Uh, we just bottled it last week, and it has, uh, you know, uh, a lot of orange in it. Uh, very subtle orange zest in both the aroma and on uh, the body. So uh, look for it at your local LCBOs across Ontario. Not the beer store. Then. You can't get it at the beer store. Uh, you can't get it at the beer store. We only sell uh, the orange peel through uh, the LCBO. I swear I saw the, the Devil's Ale at the. Um, the Devil's Pill Ale. At some beer stores. Some beer stores. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. You're gonna try it? Come on. All right, let's try this. All right, man. This is just the base. This is just the base of our firewing challenge sauce. All right. Okay. To this, we had four teaspoons of, of fresh ghost peppers. Right. You go ahead and try that. That's a Hank Daddy's original sauce with um, with some uh, pepper extract in it. So not only are you tasting heat, but you're tasting flavor, aren't you? Yeah. That's really nice. That's really nice. Give it about six seconds. It's gonna hit the back of your. It's gonna hit the back of your mouth, and then that's it. It's manageable. It's it's hot. I I was a little flustered with it, but um, I've had hotter. From Diana? Yes. And what kind of peppers do you use for them? I use. Uh, no, no, I've used the, the scotch, bonnet, scotch right? bonnet peppers. Ah, okay. And the little cherry ones. Ah, okay. What about those banana peppers? Um, I've had them, yes. 
But it like doesn't work. It's called bird peppers, the little ones, right? No, yeah, but the little ones. Yes, cherry. the little ones. The cherry yes. ones are the best to cook with. They have such a nice flavor, honestly. And you can put them in your oh, stock and stews. Yes. So I, Hank, Hank was saying, sorry to cut you. Hank was saying this is hotter than what you used to? Um, no, it's not hotter. He would say it, but I wouldn't. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.